Good morning dear students welcome to PN Amasi e-learning classes Activity 5 is about to show that shadow is dark outline of an object things needed torch green and red cellophane paper multicolored cube and yellow ball method Take a torch and cover the front of it with a piece of green colored cellophane. The torch now emits green colored light. Place a multicolored cube on the table. So you can see in the figure A. Shine the torch on the multicolored cube. The shadow is dark. Now cover the front part of the torch. with dark red colored cellophane and shine the torch on a yellow ball the shadow is again dark what will you observe from this activity will observe the color of a shadow does not change with the change in color of the source of the light or the color of the opaque object placed in the path of the light conclusion we get a shadow is a dark outline of an object other than its shape no details of the object can be seen on the shadow activity 6 is about that light travels in a straight line things needed a candle match box and a rubber tube method put a light candle on a table take a rubber tube stretch it straight and look through it at the flame of the candle with one eye keeping the other one closed if the rubber tube is straight you will see the candle flame through it see figure a towards it then bend the rubber tube in the middle and look through it at the candle flame again you cannot see the candle flame through the bent rubber tube you can see the figure b what conclusion here it comes the light of the candle travels in straight line through the whole of the rubber tube when the rubber tube is bent the light of the candle flame fails to reach us therefore we cannot see the candle flame we can now say that light travels in a straight line or rectilinear propagation of light therefore in this question we can say light travels in straight line our last topic of this chapter is about mirrors and reflections we all use mirrors at home you look into the mirror and see your own face inside the mirror what you see is a reflection of your face in the mirror we also see reflections of other objects that are in front of the mirror sometimes we see reflections of trees buildings and other objects in the water of a pond or a lake in this slide you can see reflections of trees buildings and other objects in the water of a pond or a lake dear students you can see in this slide the reflection of the picture when we look into the mirror and see our own face inside the mirror what we see is a reflection of our face in the mirror we also see reflections of other objects that are in front of the mirror this thing dear students you may observe at your home also why we are able to see ourselves in the mirror because reflection of the light there is a difference between regular reflection and irregular reflection regular reflection when ray of light falls on smooth surface like mirror they are reflected parallelly in the same direction so we are able to see clearly our reflection in the mirror 
you can see in the slide a regular reflection a um, lines has been shown parallelly which is moving that are mirror highly polished metal and calm water irregular reflection when rays of light falls on rough or irregular surfaces like paper plastic chair table book etc light rays are reflected in different directions reflection is not clear hence we are not able to see our image on plastic clearly you can see the irregular reflections in the lines most of the objects that does not move parallel so we cannot see the reflection clearly mirrors are made by depositing a very thin and smooth layer of silver on a piece of glass it should be shiny and smooth reflects nearly 99% light regular reflection we can see ourselves in mirror you can see in the slide smooth and shiny surface of a mirror that we can say as a regular reflection but the sheet of paper is rough so we can say it is an irregular reflection due to the reflection image of an object is seen in the mirror most of the objects around us reflects light some reflect more light some reflects less light why can't we see our image in a white sheet of paper or a table though it also reflects light like mirror all objects do not reflect light in the same manner activity 7 is about to show that shiny polish surfaces like mirrors reflect light better than other surfaces things needed a torch a plain mirror book method you need two or more friends and a dark room to do this activity ask one of your friends to hold a mirror in his or her hands at one corner of the room ask the other friend to stand in the other corner of the room you stand in another corner with a torch in your hand switch on the torch and direct the beam on to the mirror that your friend is holding observe the beam of light on the other side adjust the direction of the mirror so that the beam of light falls on another friend standing in the dark room now do the same activity using a book instead of a mirror you cannot see the reflected beam of light here the conclusion comes the beam of light after striking the mirror is reflected from the mirror shiny well polished surfaces like mirrors reflect light well dull surfaces like a book do not reflect the light as the mirror does activity 8 is about to show the reflection of light by a plain mirror things needed torch plastic comb large thermocol fevicol quick fix and a mirror method take a plastic comb with a very fine teeth fix it on one side of a large thermocol sheet as shown in the figure 11.9 with the help of fevicol or quick fix spread a dark colored sheet of paper on the thermocol now fix a mirror by pressing in the thermocol sheet in inclined position what will you observe we observe that light passing through the comb is in straight lines the light reflected by the mirror is also in straight line showing a similar pattern thank you dear students 